Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your photos and videos over from your PS5 to your Mac. Um, it's very easy. Um, this is only for the people who don't have XFAT on their Mac. Um, for some reason, it wasn't appearing on uh, this hard drive, this the Mac. Um, but now it appears ever since I uh, formatted it from my PS5. So if you have a extra hard drive or anything, it should pop up as like this. For some reason, now it's appearing as uh, I can do it with XFAT. But it was only showing me to do uh, the top two options. Um, so what you're going to do is buy one of these connectors from Best Buy. It costs $12. Um, I'm going to be showing the brand on screen. I'm pretty sure it's $12. If it's not, it should be around the $15 range. Um, so what you're going to need is uh, one of these. If you have one of the newer Macs, you're gonna need a USB to USB type C connector. Um, so here's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna grab your connector, plug in your hard drive. So this is not X fat uh, right now. So after that, you're gonna need to connect it to your back ports of your PS5 because if you connect it to your front ports, um, it won't work. It only works for the faster ports on the back. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Don't be like me and um, accidentally co connect your USB to the Wi-Fi port. Um, that's why it's not been working. It's giving out power. <laughs> All right, guys. So now once you connect it, don't be like me and accidentally connect it to the Wi-Fi port because I did that two times and now I'm not sure if the Wi-Fi wi port is damaged. I don't even use it anyways. So once you connect it, as you can see, connect it to the back ones. And now in the front right here, it should say USB drive is not supportive. USB drive file is unsupportive. And um, once that happens, you're gonna need to go up to your settings, go to your storage, go to USB extended storage. It should pop up right here and then click format as extend storage. USB, do you want to continue? Click yes. Click on it a couple of times because it kind of lags a little. Data transfer speed might not be fast enough as to use USB drive. Are you sure you want to format it? Now, in this format, you're gonna need to format two times from your PS5. This format is mainly for your games and all that kind of stuff. Game saves, click yes. Now format it, wait until this thing uh, formats. Once it does, go to your three dots, format as X drive, X fat. Now this is how you're gonna be able to transfer your uh, screenshots and video clips. As you can see what it says, click yes. Now start, it would, should start formatting. Once it formats, you can go back to your console storage and then you can go to your media gallery and you can now tra start to transfer your whatever uh, you whatever you want to transfer. As you can see, I want to transfer you uh, GTA GTA five um, videos. So what you're gonna do is click on this button, go to copy to USB drive, copy one video, and it starts start copying once it copies. And as you can see, there's 35 megabytes of storage now what you're gonna do is unplug your ps uh your hard drive so once you connect your hard drive to your mac go to finder and then in finder you're gonna go to um the hard drive that you just connected which is uh currently popping up, up as untitled once you find it it should show up as ps5 click it and then create it says click that video clips click that gta 5 um this is the game that you have recorded and it should pop up like uh let's say you recorded call of duty it should pop up as call of duty um so once you go on that that should be the the video photo and your video and now as you can see the video has been transferred to my mac now it's still on the hard drive so you need to copy that but as you can see 
it, that's how you transfer uh, your videos, uh, screen recordings, whatever you are recording from your PS5 to your Mac. Um, so, I, as you can see, I have already did done that with a, a different video um, right here. But what you're going to need to do is copy that and put it right that. And as you can see, um, I already have a file like that. But as you can see, you can just copy that and um it should pop up right there just like that one right now i just don't want to uh replace that one one thing i forgot to mention if you want to reset your hard drive back to its original settings um since xfat does, doesn't support almost everywhere um and it does not erase once you uh go over here so what you need to go to do is disconnect it from your mac and then plug it back into the back ports. And then once you do that, it should pop up again, go to the same uh, storage uh, thing, and it should uh, pop up as USB extended storage the option down here, and format it back to that. Once you format it back to that, um, disconnect it from the back ports, and then you connect it to your Mac, and it should be able to go back to its original format. The Mac says I can format it to this, so this is the original format that I originally had it also as i remembered um that's the format and once you format it like that it should be able to go back to that format once you do that so i'm not uh i'm not going to be 100 percent sure that i'm actually going to be using this hard drive for other things it's probably just going to be for transferring stuff over to ps5 to mac um so yeah that's all guys um thanks for watching